Now, at the Middle Ages, so let's see what is this place. Fiona's Villa. Looks bleak. But this is a desert. Here, yeah, desert. So there's a desert cave with monsters in there, so let's just go and kick them out of there. Yep, a hole with swirly sandy thingies. Yep, nothing particularly interesting or not actually that was wrong direction. That was the exit, not entry point. And why in hell they and they could just take walk the stairs? Well, time to walk through the shuffling, shifty sands into much some sort of cave structure. Yeah, full tonic. Oh, sounds bad. Something big and nasty. Well, you just lure it out or you dig it out. Drop deal. This is not actually any sort of puzzle, it's just a... Hyper Ethers, Aeon Helms. Uh, there it is. Uh, where are you now? Oh, there you are. Let's catch it. Oh yeah, I've met something like you before. And it hates water, so... Use up fire and all that kind of crap at you. And to bring out. It's a little strange, strange that the ice attack doesn't actually damage it, but it makes it, but it makes it very vulnerable to your basic attacks. Yeah, and it's. Graphics make it really hard to give the optimal angle. Try dark form, does it do any damage to that? Oh shit, no, the center part gets healed by it. Eats the core just to keep itself alive. Let's bring out the heal beam. Well, did it wounded or did it vulnerable? Oh, it, oh yeah, it rocks out the darkness. Darkness, darkness is the status effect where the attacking power is much weaker. So what to say, it ain't so scary thing. Mostly because your pecs usually ignore all the fact things about missing. Hey, 
you keep eating your core as much as you want. Oh damn, you didn't hit that core. Keeping it in a state of well, oh yeah, it ate its middle part. Oh, and it of course gains back some of its healing ability, or to say defensive ability when it's damaged. Take a few swipes. Take eyes. It does laser spin. Oh, well, it's quite potent. He's trying to spam it. I wonder did I do a little bit of mistake by... Yeah, keep eating more. Right. It's a oopsie punch. Scythe. Oh yeah, it gets much, much more powerful when it defends itself. A single target here for Maul was all it took. Oh, yeah, it gets a lot of defensive ability back. Yeah. Yeah, this is how the basic tactics goes. Give out the water, water, water attack to make it vulnerable and then blast, blast out your biggest, nastiest, meanest move you have in your disposal. Come on, don't attack Robo now, you little ugly buff, ugly critter. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yeah, this is the, that kind of annoying thing which happens when you're when your basic tactic gets somehow sideswiped. It takes out it's, it's quite difficult to actually get to manage to recover from it. Especially now when it starts to steal this beam attack so with insane with frequency. But luckily I know that Magus is able to endure at least one. Or let's say is able to endure one. It, 
It feels like something that the enemies get faster the more they are damaged, uh, which means they will spring, spring out their attacks faster and fast on faster and faster pace, which is, I say, quite annoying way to add the Yeah, uh, Robo is quite weak against magic attack, so it was a, it's a bit of a... Uh, may, of course, maybe I should have taken somebody more strong, stronger at the physical attacks than Magus in the group. Or the Isla Ultra mode. Wait, but as long as it just keeps doing these one single target attacks, I am fine. Yeah, I'll take, take this out uh, well, of the picture. Because you're ugly. And annoying. Yeah, keep opening your ugly mouth. He's luckily he, it's trying to eat out or eat. Yeah, it, it's something like it doubles its attack frequency. Attack one, hey, boom. The following attack comes right at the instant. So instead of one action, it gets double actions. Or two actions. Which is quite annoying, especially because I don't think see any sort of, you could say, plan it ha or method it has in those attacks, it just seems to pick one by random, and of course target also by random. But it's hard to say, is it actually random or is there some sort of algorithm or AI deciding what target to attack? Night. Yeah, monsters defeated. And try to get all that. There's a chest in here. I got them all. Yep. About to leave. And, oh, there's something. Oh, these pills keep popping up all kinds of places. So, let's just go say, say hello to Fiona. What is she up to? Oh, well, Robo's immortal to time, so... Yep. That's it, he, well, make, made himself useful, and I have lots of time. I don't need to worry about time, so I can just time travel the future. See how the place looks nowadays. With ground up sand completely removed by a vibrant forest. Yeah. Mm. 
Yep, they sell very, very efficient armor. I'd say perhaps one of the best hats of the entire game or headgear. And there's the ro robo. And nobody's asking what the hell are we doing here. No. The actual age of Robo is at least whatever it is plus 400. Real tough technology. That trope, how they actually went, traveled. Is called the slow path. That's interesting. Robo spoke something about so-called Gaia hypothesis, which says that the planet itself is a, which is to say, Earth is one huge living organism. So, which is quite interesting. But there's one unique gate here. Moment, some place, some time ends. Ten years before it, this game begins. Password. And I changed my own past. At the beginning of the game it was just a small detail. But Luca's mother couldn't walk. She was lame. Or cripple, however you want to call it. But now I stop. I prevented it happening, but it did not prevent Luca from becoming what she is now. Just a just a slight little nice detail, but it's good. With that, it is time to go and travel to the end of time and see what are our next missions to have. But this was one of the many moments of available to be watched. 
and let's see what it, what is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I know when. It is when it arrives. So, the next time it is time to go and visit to some other moment in time to become more powerful to face horrifying abom planet eating l l abomination lovers. And I see you next time. See ya.